He may be a fresh face in Colombian politics, but as Ivan Duque took to the stage, his supporters were ecstatic. Duque is young, untested, but has promised to tackle some of Colombia's biggest issues. Con humildad y con honor. With humility and honor, I tell the Colombian people that I will give all my energies to unite our country. No more divisions. Let's think about a country for all and everyone. For me, it's very important to tell you and the whole of Colombia that today there are no defeated citizens, because I want to be the president that gives the same love to those who voted for me and those who didn't. The polls closed across Colombia at 4 p.m., but it soon became clear that Duque had a commanding lead. Hand-picked by former president Alvaro Uribe, Duque has promised to modify the peace accords with FARC rebels. They ended 50 years of conflict, but it's not yet clear what any changes he makes will mean for an already fragile process. Despite losing, Gustavo Petro is Colombia's most successful leftist candidate. The former rebel secured more than 40% of the vote and has pledged to continue his fight for a fairer society and less dependence on fossil fuels. If Duque governs with those who helped him win, that government suffers a fatal injury. Hopefully he is able. Hopefully I am able to trick myself about his personality. And the one elected has sufficient strength to separate himself from those who helped him become elected. Because they are the worst associations for Colombia. This was one of the safest elections in Colombia's recent history. There were no reports of violence across the country. A sign say analysts that democracy here is maturing. These are elections that have been peaceful, have been polarizing because citizens are uh, not used to have a left option and a right option with very uh, different programs. But I do think that this is the first time in Colombia's history that we are discussing politics as in other democracies in the world. Ivan Duque has a lot to prove. His critics say he's nothing more than a puppet of Alvaro Uribe, a hardliner that's both popular and polarizing. But it's what he might do with those peace accords with FARC that people will watch most closely. Gustavo Petro may have lost, but the left's voice here has never been stronger. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Bogota, Colombia.